in the Old Testament if you read Old Testament very carefully you will see that in the Old Testament there was all kinds of miracles miracles outstanding but there was one particular occurrence that was absent in the whole Old Testament it was casting out of demons Moses Elijah Jeremiah David Samuel all of these great prophets who brought fire from heaven Enoch and Elijah these guys didn't even die they just took a road trip elevator straight to heaven I mean these guys were supernatural lifestyle these people split red seas they caused the sun to stop and it's and the earth to stop orbiting I mean these guys did amazing miracles but there was one thing that was missing in all of the Old Testament not once you see a prophet or a great man of God casting out demons you see even demons lightly mentioned once in a while the distressing spirit comes upon Saul a spirit of lying spirit of heaviness we see a haughty spirit a proud spirit but we don't see casting out of demons and here comes Jesus a carpenter 30 years of age he first defeats the devil personally and then starts to defeat him publicly which already tells us a lesson you can't defeat the devil within others if you don't defeat the devil within you can somebody say amen <laughs> Jesus comes after the wilderness where he defeated Satan personally doesn't that tell you that right away the next moment he gets up to preach reads book of Isaiah and the devil begins to show up right in the synagogue not in the witch where some where the witches are gathered or the satanists or people pulling out their Ouija boards there was Torah there were the orthodox Jews who believed in one God and Jesus gets up and begins to preach and the Bible says a demon begins to speak out right in the synagogue and Jesus drives out the demon out of the person and the person becomes free and everybody says what is this we've heard about the Red Sea we've heard about the fire we've heard about healings we've heard about the dead being raised but this is new why is this new because the first Adam faced the devil on a personal level and got defeated by him and ever since then people never faced the devil again and instead of fighting the devil they fought one another and the Bible clearly states when we fight against flesh and blood we cannot fight against the devil that means the only way we are able to fight against the enemy is when we cease to stop fighting against one another and the Old Testament what do the people do fought one another kings judges prophets what do these people do all of them did one thing they always fought against other people even with the anointing even with the power of God they always did that in the New Testament Jesus never equipped his disciples they did never training for like Navy SEALs or soldiers you don't see disciples doing push-ups in the morning you know building their biceps and triceps you know learning the guns learning the knife tricks so they can go fight the Roman Empire you don't see Jesus always telling them one thing guys the way we're gonna conquer this world is not the way they did it in the Old Testament we will go to the source of the problem and we will defeat the devil where Adam was defeated by him and so we see Jesus getting up and casting out demons. We see Jesus doing that.